Tokyo commuters told to work from home to avoid Olympic congestion nightmare. More than half a million people in are being asked to work from home as part of a trial scheme aimed at tackling transport congestion ahead of the 2020. Over 20 million people use public transport in the greater Tokyo area every day, and it is feared the arrival of more than 600,000 people visitors to the Olympic and Paralympic Games will overload the city's notoriously strained system. In a bid to avert travel chaos, the Japanese government has launched its telework scheme, where an equal number of employees are encouraged to work from home for at least two weeks from July 24. Japan's ministry, Toyko's metro system is notoriously busy An average of 3.64 million passengers pass through the city's Shinjuku station each day, which was crowned the world's busiest station by the Guinness World Records and has over 200 exits. Home to nearly 30 in July, Google data showed Tokyo's Chuo line to be one of the world's most crowded transit lines, and the situation is not much better in other parts of the city. On rail and sub, experts have raised serious concerns about the impact of the Olympics, which will be held from July 24 to August 9, 2020, and the subsequent Paralympics which finish on September 6. Azuma Taguchi, a Chuo University professor who has studied the issue of transport overcrowding, t in November that trains could reach 200% capacity at peak times. However, more than 50,000 employees from Fujitsu and more than 10,000 workers from NEC will join the government scheme, which has been trialed on smaller scales since 2017. RICO will close it, 63,000 people took part in the first trial in 2017, with the number jumping to 300,000 people from 1,682 organizations in 2018, Medi confirmed. Hot, yeah, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that.